NASA says a reddish rock from Mars, its Perseverance rover found, has potential signs of ancient microbial life on the red planet. That's the conclusion of a year-long study of the rock, formed billions of years ago from sediment on the bottom of a lake. While NASA says the minerals it contains could suggest life, scientists say the minerals spotted in the sample could also form without biology. Still, acting NASA Administrator Sean Duffy says the findings, while provisional, could be a breakthrough. After a, a year of review, uh, they've come back and they said, listen, we can't find another explanation. Um, so this very well could be the clearest sign of life that we've ever found on Mars, uh, which is incredibly exciting. Mars has not always been the inhospitable place it is today, with liquid water on its surface in the distant past. Since 2021, the Perseverance rover has explored Jezero Crater, a former lake basin in the northern hemisphere of Mars. It has surveyed sediment and delta deposits there for potential signs of life. The rover collected the so-called Sapphire Canyon sample in July 2024. It's a fine-grained, rusty red rock that shows leopard spot patterns and tiny dark marks. A study of the sample in the journal Nature concluded the marks were possibly made by microbes when the area was believed to be a watery environment between 3.2 to 3.8 billion years ago. Planetary scientist Joel Horowitz of Stony Brook University was co-author of the study. These textural features told us that something really interesting had happened in these rocks. Some set of chemical reactions occurred at the time they were being deposited. And so we really wanted to understand what those reactions might have been. Using the rover's Sherlock instrument, a chemical detector, Horowitz said he found evidence that points to organic matter. What you can see here is a set of spectra that are called Raman spectra. And there's a lot of information on these graphs, but the key thing to take note of is the fact that what we see in these spectra is something called a G-band, and that's pointed out uh, on the image. The, the G-band for us is a smoking gun indicator for the presence of organic matter in this mud. And we see that G-band in the Chayava Falls target, and we actually see it in a couple of the other locations that we interrogated around the Bright Angel Formation. And this tells us that we had a rusty red mud that was deposited in the presence of organic matter. Two minerals were likely formed as a result of chemical reactions when the mud reacted with organic matter in it. They are vivianite, a mineral bearing iron and phosphorus, and greigite, a mineral bearing iron and sulfur. We see features like this in sediment on Earth. These minerals are often the byproduct of microbial metabolisms that are consuming organic matter and making these minerals as a result of those reactions. But there are non-biological ways to make these features that we cannot completely rule out on the basis of the data that we collected with our rover payload. U.S. President Donald Trump's current budget proposal would cancel NASA's existing Mars Sample Return mission. Acting NASA Administrator Sean Duffy said NASA is exploring other ways to retrieve samples or send gear to Mars for more analysis.